Commission is Bishop Estate. It is the largest private landowner in Hawaii. It is the richest uh, institution in the country. It is one of the richest in the world. And the world doesn't know that um, Bishop Estate is engaging in a lot of injustices that are hurting uh, people and families and especially beneficiaries to Princess Bernice Pawahi's trust um, that she left behind to educate the Hawaiian children so that they can be better off in a socioeconomic status by establishing the school, Kamehameha Schools. I love the school. I am a Kamehameha parent. My children graduated from Kamehameha. It's an awesome school. I am loyal to the school, but it's not about the school. It is about Bishop Estate, the institution, and this institution represents the 1% of the corporations. Their behaviors, their actions, the way that they are treating uh, families, the world doesn't know that um, it's all about greed and money. Uh -huh. And I'm saying this because I am personally experiencing it and have been for the last six years. And Bishop Estate puts out Kamehameha Schools that they are there to um, educate the Hawaiian children, which is true. But the way that they're going about it I do not agree with, and I do not approve as a beneficiary, um, because Hawaiian values, you're supposed to show aloha. No. You are supposed to uh, aloha kekahi kekahi. No. You are supposed to show kokua. No. You're supposed to show all these cultural and family values as our very own Hawaiian institute but their actions and their practices as an institu institution is completely the opposite to what their mission statement is. So, my family has, my family has uh, started a petition and uh, Bishop Estate is run by attorneys. I did not know that until I myself is, am experiencing um, the injustices. And so, attorneys, these attorneys are manipulating the law so as to hide behind the facade that they are um, educating the Hawaiian children. Like I said, I have nothing about the school and I love the school. My family lives out in Haula, and uh, we were flooded, major flooding. Bishop Estate had put a pipe in the side of the mountain, which they own most of the land on that side, and of course is the largest private landowner, redirected all the water from their mountain, including a large waterfall, and comes down this drainage pipe, empties out to the side of the highway irresponsibly. There is no connection pipe to any of the stormwater drains. Crosses the highway, floods all my neighbors, and ends up on my lot as my lot is the lowest lot. All these years we have tried to work with them, meet with them. They have come, their managers, their, um, their engineers, um, their directors, they do a walk of the site, they don't acknowledge any uh, uh, blame or take any responsibility as a landlord. Um, and all they're interested in is, uh, because we own our home, our home is paid off, but it sits on their land and all they want is to charge outrageous lease fees, which through my um, experiences going through these injustices that they, I have found out that they are illegally overcharging the homeowners. 
Hawaii Revised Statute say um, you cannot charge more than 4% interest to the value of the land to calculate the leasehold amount. Well, in one of their letters to the banks, they say, we do not agree with the Hawaii Revised Statutes. We think it's unconstitutional, and therefore we are charging our own 6%. Now, that's outright um, condescending attitude, arrogance, um, disrespect, and it's illegal. And it's a difference between paying $27,000 and $18,000 a year. So it's outrageous the amount that they're overcharging and homeowners don't know it. The only reason why I found out because I have been devastated with the floods and when we meet with them we say, you cannot be charging these outrageous amounts and then you are not taking responsibility for the floods. And the floods ruined all our beds and furniture and everything was uh, ruined. And just when we were finished getting close to cleaning up and rehabilitating our home, the floods came again. So we were flooded not once, not twice, not three times, four times. And you are talking about raging flood waters that rages through the property, through the houses, and our family got evicted. I, excuse me, got um, we had to go uh, elsewhere because the house was not habitable. The petition that we are circulating is to hold Bishop Estate accountable that you come with all your money because that's what they're saying to our family. We have all the money in the world to drag out any case uh, uh, you take us to court. You will lose because you don't have the money to pay the attorneys and drag it out for years. We will be dragging out for years and even if you get an attorney, we will bankrupt your attorney. We are in litigation, yes. and um, in one of the court hearings, I, when they made an offer to my family, and an offer was, you, we will fix your home, you come live in it, but you pay rent to us. So I told them, go to hell. My house is paid off. My family has invested all our lifetime savings into our home and then into constructing the flood mitigation because they refused to do anything about the situation. And you're asking us to come and pay rent to you? So at this point, um, my family has stood steadfastly in focusing on the injustices. And we basically said, you come with all the money, I come with God on my side. Because I am a Christian, and we're a cultural family, and I believe that the time for these corporations is coming soon um, in being held accountable for how they treat the defenseless and the innocent people. My favorite scripture that I have quoted to Bishop Estate is Matthew 6 verse 24, you cannot serve two masters. It's either you hate the other and love the other, or love the other and hate the other. It's either you serve God or you serve money. Well, I serve God, and I know they serve money. But my thing to them also is, the money is not yours. It is the trust that the princess set up out of her deep compassion and aloha for her people to educate the children so they can survive in the Western system that we live in now and also to continue their cultural practices and their cultural traditions. We had agreed to them to go to Ho'oponpono, and Ho'oponpono is a, a age 
old ancestral tradition of the Polynesians of the Hawaiians, where you settle disputes culturally in a very spiritual way. Bishop and State have refused to come to Ho'oponopono. They have made up all kinds of excuses so as not to come to Ho'oponopono. We believe that they are avoiding Ho'oponopono because they cannot tell the truth. And Ho'oponopono judges to be on their legal team to manipulate the law and decide the fate of innocent people based on some technicality. Well, I am challenging you, Bishop Estate. I am not afraid of you. Come to Ho'oponopono to the table, and if you're honest, and ask for forgiveness and make things pono with my family and all the families before us and that these practices are to be stopped with my family. I am also going through it to avenge the death of my friend, dear friend and former homeowner, Brian Wolfenden, who committed suicide because of these very same injustices that I, my husband and I had promised that we will uh, help him correct what he has suffered and gone through, thinking we were commanding their parents that we love the school, there would be no problem, until we experienced that there is commandment school on one side, and there is Bishop Estate, the institution, on the other side. So, I am determined to bring Bishop Estate to the table to tell the truth and own up and correct the wrong that they have done to Brian Wolfenden and send him to his grave and to my family and all the homeowners before us and it will end with my family. So I plead to all of you, if you do support my family and ending landlord injustices, whatever they may be, please start with my family and sign our petition because it sends the message to all the corporations out there that we the people are the people power and nothing happens without the people. And so, I have designed two shirts to spread that message. And it also helps with my family's legal fund. And $10 is the profit. $5 go into my family's legal fund and the other $5 go to Occupy Honolulu to support their work that they're doing in trying to um, bring injustices uh, to the open and hold these corporations accountable. The first shirt is, we the people, by the people, are the, for the people, are the people. And on the back it says, so, speak out Hawaii, SSOH. That's the platform I want us to launch from, that we are the people and we need to speak out because nothing ha happens without the people's consent. The second t-shirt uh, to spread the message is Bishop Estate presents Bullet One Slumlord Millionaire because they are millionaires and they're slumlords. Bullet Two to the injustices that my family is holding them to. Bullet three, unsafe house, because they devastated my family and all the other homeowners with the flooding and they are not being responsible for making things porno. So they made my house, our houses unsafe. Bullet three, taken. They're trying to take my home. And other landlord injustices. 
back of the shirt says, coming soon to a neighborhood near you. So I'm standing here today and asking all of you to please make it happen for all of us by signing my petition, my family's petition to end landlord injustices um, on the paper. And also I have the computer open up uh, to the website. It's called Bishop Estate Landlord Injustices. And I urge you to write a comment. And all those comments will go to Bishop Estate. And without further ado, thank you so much. And I'll pass the mic on. God bless you. And aloha. Oh,